Ladies and gents, we are back from vacation. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I really just want to take a quick second to thank you guys. When I made that last little video, when I stopped in uh, during my vacation to deliver those two trucks, just asking you guys to kind of help me get subscribers, you stepped up big time. It was awesome. I got like 120 subscribers that night. We are now at 9,994. So we're six subscribers away from crossing the 10,000 uh, mark, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it's awesome. So again, thank you very much. It's very, very appreciated. Now, first thing we're going to talk about while I was away, this showed up. It's a 2021 Chevy Colorado extended cab, four wheel drive, has a convenience package. It was upgraded to the V6 and it has a tech package because the customer wanted it to have in dash navigation. He didn't want to have to mess around with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, the gentleman that's buying this is actually trading in or it's uh, replacing a 1991 Chevy S10 that I think has. 230, 238,000 miles on it, something like that. Uh, his first order of business when he picks it up on Friday is he's bringing it to a place to actually get um, a bed liner. He didn't get a GM bed liner, he got an aftermarket one. And he's also getting a cap put on, which is gonna be custom matched to the color of the vehicle. It's the same style he has on his S10. He has a cap on it as well. Um, you know, so he's really excited that it showed up. The crazy thing with this truck is, this truck was actually factory ordered in December of 2020. We're now in July of 2021. So he's waited literally seven going on eight months for this particular truck to show up. It's because of the whole chip shortage and things like that. They just didn't build Colorados for quite some time. But uh, it's now here, he's picking it up on Friday. And uh, you know, I, I gotta imagine he's gotta be excited. It's been a long, long wait. Colorados, you still have the, uh, the turnkey ignition. No push button start yet. Get it fired up. You got the nice eight inch screen. Hit the continue button there. Let's just make sure. We have in dash navigation, and there we go. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure if he actually has a uh, has a smartphone. Maybe he still has a flip phone, and that's why he needed in dash nav. I don't know if we ever discussed that, but I know he wanted it, and uh, we made sure that the truck had it when we built it. Uh, this one again is an extended cab, which gives you a small little back seat. Let me show you that. Now it's funny that the truck is completely soaking wet because it rained out. I got a little sidetracked there halfway through filming before, uh, but here is the back seat. So you have. Two little small jump seats. Now the back cushion is literally just like stuck to the back frame of the cab itself. Uh, you have a small little seat here which you can pull this uh, tab and lift. You have storage underneath. Pull the little string to release it. A couple of cup holders, uh, two USB ports, but not a lot of space. I mean, this works well for you know children, small adults. I guess it all depends on where the front seat is. You know, because if you move that front seat up, that'll give you more room in the back here. But for someone like myself, at uh, six five, you know, it's not really uh, not really meant for me. The next thing I want to talk about is what inventory do we have, right? Because obviously in my bunch of my videos in the past, the inventory is very minimal here at the dealership. So I was curious what would come in while I was away for a week and a half, and we're gonna go over that right now. So we do have a Traverse 2021 that showed up. Looks like it's a 1LT model. We also have a Traverse out in the front of the showroom uh, on display there. Next up, we got a fresh new face here, 2022 Chevrolet Equinoxes. Now we got a 21 here and a 22. So this is gonna be the quick, uh, the quick difference that you'll see is all in the front fascia, the grill, the headlights. I think it definitely looks nicer, looks more updated, maybe a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, we have one 2022 in the showroom. So that's one, I have one here, that's two, three, four, and five. So we have five 22 Equinoxes. We have one, two, 2021 models we still have the iron gray 2lt blazer and we still have the one satin steel silverado pickup truck uh, again fl model 2.7 liter turbo i just refreshed my youtube counter we are at 9997 so this is new car inventory one silverado a handful of equinoxes the Colorado, which is a delivery. We do have the Silverado Trail Bus here. However, uh, I believe this is sold. This is the one that I sold as an inbound unit, but the gentleman had to cancel. Uh, so it became available. Immediately, every salesperson started uh, talking to their clients about it. And from what I understand, uh, the girl Jackie here did sell it, but I'll find that out because if it's available, maybe uh, I can make some phone calls myself now that I'm back. As far as used cars, we're looking a little depleted. Now the lot was kept nice. Everything's still pretty much in line. We just got a bunch of holes in the front here because obviously a bunch of stuff sold uh, in the last week and a half. So I'm just gonna kind of rearrange some of this. Uh, we'll line up a couple of these Equinoxes a little bit better. Uh, what I think I wanna do is put like the non-GM vehicles up front this time, because we have a Subaru. I have a Jeep that just came in. Uh, we're gonna put that up front. 
Actually, I think those are the only two non-GM vehicles we have. We also have a nice 2500. This is a 2016 2500 HD. This was a trade-in from the other day. My client that bought the new 2500 uh, traded this one in. So we have that all uh, pictured on the internet, ready to go. We got a 1500 here and we got other tracks. So I'm basically just gonna get right back in the swing of things. We're gonna get the lot fixed up. We're gonna answer emails, phone calls, all that sort of stuff. I already set up the delivery time for that Colorado for 11 o'clock on Friday. We are at 9,998 subscribers right now as I keep hitting refresh on my, uh, my YouTube app. We should hit that 10,000 uh, any, any minute now. All right, and there it is, 10,003. Thank you very much to Tatiana and Sal for helping me out. They just went in their phones, they're calling people, getting people to subscribe so I can hit the 10K. And then I just walk to my desk and I see this. We got the congrats dude and the 10K banner. These guys are the best. So now that I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I made my website DaveBSellChevy.com live. And it's a spot where you can just learn a little bit about me. You have a link there to the inventory we have here at Schumacher Chevrolet. And it's a spot if you felt the, the desire to pick up any Dave B merchandise, you can do it there. What kind of Dave B merchandise do you ask? Well, we got four different items. Uh, you can go from a basic decal, which is the Dave B sells Chevy logo. That'll look great on your toolbox, on your laptop, on your vehicle, wherever you uh, wherever you wherever you think it'll it'll look the best. Is that where you're going to place it? From there, you go to an air freshener. Uh, who doesn't like to have a nice air freshener dangling from their mirror? We got three different scents to choose from, and uh, even long after it uh, it doesn't smell anymore, it'll look great hanging from the mirror. We have the Dave B. Sell Chevy logo keychain made out of premium metal, polished on both sides. Uh, it's a nice size keychain. It's a heavy duty keychain. It'll it'll look great on your set of keys. So that's always a fun one to uh, to add. You can even use it. I was thinking as a zipper pull on a backpack or something like that. Or if you want to show full support and be part of the Dave B. Sell Chevy crew, you can go with the limited edition crew pack. Now this is a limited edition T-shirt. I got this designed, or actually I should say I designed it myself. I put the logo on the front, the logo on the back, and I have a 10,000 on there to kind of signify this milestone. It's gonna show that you were here from the beginning, from the first 10,000 subs. Along in this crew pack, you're also gonna get, uh, with the T-shirt, you're gonna get the keychain, you're gonna get a new car scent air freshener, you're gonna get a decal, and it's gonna just really show you that you're part of the crew. Um, I truly, truly appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far with this channel. This is something that I just came up with and I, I kind of came up with this in the past of doing whatever is in my mind, whatever ideas I come up with, trying to act on them, you know, and trying to just do them. You know, so many times as adults, we'll, we'll have ideas and we'll have things that we want to do, but we never really accomplish them, right? We talk ourselves out of it. We say there's not enough time. We figure, oh, I can't do that. Um, I got to tell you, throughout this process, there's so much stuff I didn't know how to do that I learned and I'm still learning, you know, as far as creating a website and setting up shipping and, you know, figuring out all the stuff you have to figure out for this. And, you know, it's all stuff that is figure outable, right? So, you know, it was fun for me to do. Hopefully it's fun for you to, to be a part of as well. And again, I truly appreciate all the support. So thank you very much. Uh, with that, let me get back to moving some of these cars, get this front line all set up and get back inside and see if I can sell anything today. So far today, I only had one customer that came in. The guy's interested in the Z06. Uh, right now, we're not taking any, uh, any deposits on Z06s really because we don't know if and how many we're gonna get. Plus, I think they already had two people lined up that bought C8s that already wanted the Z06. So, you know, right now for us, I, I don't know anything about how many of those cars I'll get. But I had a good conversation with him nonetheless, took all his information down, and if I get info where I can't help him out, I gladly give him a call.